Assalamu alaikum everyone, peace be with you guys. Welcome back to the Ummah channel where today we're going to be talking about Eid, the worst day ever. The reason why I chose this title is because I've heard this statement given by born Muslims and reverts. So I'm going to be doing a two part video it's speaking about both perspective. Now for born Muslims, Eid is generally a boring day. We're very tired, we're very hungry, you know, we just fasted for 30 days. And so when that Eid comes, you know, we don't have a lot of energy. But then when the other Eid comes, we're only fasting one day, we have the exact same amount of energy. So I don't think the reason is because we're tired, but because of our passion and our spirit and when it comes to Eid. Now this has some negative effects towards our youth when they're comparing their holidays to their friends' holidays. For younger adults who you know don't feel the difference on the day of Eid and any other day of the year. And for our elderly who are content with the way Eid is. We need to change our culture when it comes to Eid so that we can enjoy and 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 fulfill this beautiful day that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us just to celebrate. Now, I want to tell you guys a story that really changed my Eid experience. I once saw a brother, after Eid prayer, going to the side, speaking to his phone, but he wasn't talking to anyone. I went up to him and asked him what he was doing, and he told me that he was sending voice notes, which is just audio messages, to his loved ones, expressing to them how much he loves them, Eid Mubarak, and and what they mean to him. I thought this was so beautiful, I told myself, you know what, I'm going to do this the next year. So when that next Eid came, I grabbed my phone, I looked at my contacts, and I sent a voice note to my loved ones, my family, my friends, and some people that I don't get with in contact with as much as you know I should have. And I got three beautiful res responses out of the many. There was an older sister that I sent a voice note to telling her and I mentioned to her what she meant to me. She was someone that made the masjid a beautiful place and she was like a nur in this masjid and she makes it easy for me and joyful for me to go to the masjid. And I expressed that to her. And subhanAllah she responded to me that she was starting to have a difficult time in coming to the masjid for whatever reason that was. But this voice note was giving her energy to make sure that she continues to come to the masjid and be that nur for the community. Another person that I sent a voice note to was a big time popular sheikh. I did not expect a response knowing that he dedicates a lot of his time to the community and he doesn't get a lot of personal time with his family. But subhanAllah, on the day of Eid, he, uh, he listened to my voice note and he sent me one back. And he said, Salaamu Alaikum, Kul Ahmed Bukhair. And he mentioned to me that this appreciation that I gave him gives him the energy and the passion to continue his work. You see, these type of people, they get their passion, they get their energy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They don't need it from the community. But that doesn't mean that the community shouldn't give them appreciation. He mentioned to me in that voice note that he rarely gets these types of complimentary messages and that this compliment gave him energy that day and for the rest of the year to continue his work for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Lastly, and maybe the most importantly, I sent a voice note to a convert and I told him, Kul'am tu khair. Eid Mubarak, and I apologize for not spending more time with him, and, and I told him what he meant to me as a Muslim brother. He responded with his words shaky, with him stuttering a little bit, and in tears, that that day was the first day he's ever celebrated Eid. He told me that every single Eid that, that, has, that he's been through since he converted to Islam was not a joyful one. It was an Eid that did not feel like an Eid, meaning that it was an Eid that did not, was not a holiday, it wasn't celebrated. And that when I sent him that voice note and he listened to it, it was the first time he felt Eid. It was the first time he felt uh, loved and cared for. It. And looking at all these voice notes, I'm seeing that there are people who are not being loved and appreciated, and that just two minute, three minute voice note changed that. This shows me that as a community, we don't appreciate the people around us, and we need to appreciate them more, and we will see the differences in that. And subhanAllah, it makes Eid a beautiful Eid whenever sending out these voice notes and listening to these voice notes. So let me give you some a few advices to make your Eid a special Eid. Number one, plan ahead of time what you're going to do, who you're going to hang out with, and how are you going to enjoy our Eid. Dedicate some time to your family, friends, community, and people who don't have the privilege of celebrating Eid. Thirdly, don't just worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Salat and fasting. And in, in, in reading Quran, know that celebrating for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is also a worship. So this Eid, let's make sure we fulfill our worship by enjoying Eid as much as we can. And watch out for my next video where we're going to be talking about Eid, the worst day ever from the convert perspective.